I think one, I mean I, I think there's more than one shitty stage anyways. I feel like some stages like Town and City are pretty shitty sometimes. Yeah, honestly I hate Town and City more than Lilac because mm -hmm. I've died more to those platforms on Town and City than I have the Lilac jank. Those stages are pretty janky if you're fighting a character that has like up air, up air, up beast. Yeah, let alone ridiculous edge guarding because like most of the times I get screwed over because Luigi's so floaty. Those platforms will come over, and that'll force me either to land on it or start fast falling. Mm -hmm. And with Luigi's recovery, it just creates such a problem. I just feel like if we ban that, it's gonna be more problems. Yeah, and I'd rather have that than Duck Hunt because uh, all you need to know about Duck Hunt is Bayo and Sonic. That's all you need to know. But right now, all you need to know is that we're gonna be kicking this off with Eternal Blue versus Croatian Sensation. I feel like these guys have played a bunch. Wrong one. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely two people that encounter each other nearly dying for an air dodge at 33%. That is ridiculous. I'm almost done with my flu after that. I can actually get tips and stuff. Yeah. But, I don't know too much about this matchup. It's not a matchup you see a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the big challenge for this, honestly, would be for Wii Fit's normal game is using those projectiles to try and camp out her opponents or create pressure. With Luma and the down B, though, for Rosa, mm -hmm. it definitely eliminates a lot of that threat. So it's going to come down to if Croatia can find ways to deal with being in close combat. Yeah, it feels good. Because, like, yeah, Rosa, you know, anything you throw at her as a projectile, yeah, I'll, I'll, she'll just take it. Yeah. Or even use it against you. So you have to find a way with your actual physical stuff. Yeah. Close, like you said, close combat stuff. Yeah, and that's definitely going to be the challenge because Wii Fit is definitely not known for that. And the recovery is not that great. Rosa, wow. is, Rosa is one of those characters that could go off stage and just... Yeah. Well, at least we know now that the uh, soccer ball will actually knock away Luma like that. I actually missed it. Wow. <laughs> the back portion of the up smash actually connected. Oh, yeah, her range. Her up smash range is pretty good. There you go. See what a Croatian sensation could get going here now that he's got stage control. Oh, <laughs> I feel like he thought he was going to go pass it. Yeah, roll in or something. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if you can get Rosa into negative state, it's definitely a lot easier to deal with her. She's definitely in that category of characters, I feel like. You just got to chuck her off stage rather than trying to deal with her in neutral. But I want to wonder how you can get in against this character. It looks really hard. Yeah. I, I feel like nothing she does on shield is safe, so... Whatever you commit to, you're gonna get probably like punished. Yeah, so I feel like. Oh, oh wow. Is he? Oh, yeah, she is dead. Let's go, Warrior Pose. Hey, this is not too bad. I mean, 50 now? You know, Rage Boys? That means she's probably at like 20% if you have to like calculate. Nah, nah, yeah. nah. Okay, see? Yeah, nice use yeah, of you should have a tilt there. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, he got, he got Luma. I wanna say you should probably always focus on killing Luma. Yeah, it's basically a two-stage fight. No, never made it. Never made it. Oh. They said you got sick or something. Yeah, I had some McDonald's and uh, <laughs> destroyed me. Damn it, now my break is harder. Yeah. Oh! Oh, damn I didn't see. Damn it, Nero. That was play, the best-timed volleyball spike. Ozone. Wow. For daybreak now. Ozone sounds hard. Uh. But either way, you got to watch this. So this is apparently Wii Fit's strong answer to Rosa. If right, you I'm can looking. get her off stage like this and get her below, watch this. Boom. Oh, damn. If you just hover near the edge like that, I don't really see much that Rosalina can do if she's that far below yeah, the stage. Yeah, I, I feel like you can just hang on the ledge and wait yeah. forever. Yeah, and that's definitely Rosa's biggest weak point. Her up B is just so exploitable. Well, one thing is like, now he's aware of that. Yeah. I, I don't think he was aware of that option. I mean, at least I, I wasn't. I, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. I so mean, how often do you get to encounter a Wii Fit? Let's be honest. Exactly. That, that usually happens only, like, pretty early in brackets because yeah. those characters usually lose pretty fast. Yeah. By the way, Nam, I hope you're happy. <laughs> you say what? I said, by the way, Nam, I hope you're happy. He was <laughs> delighted. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I don't get it. Nam has a secret Wii Fit. Oh! Really? Yeah. Hmm. It's actually not that bad. I don't think the character is that bad. Honestly. I think the character is pretty good. It yeah. just, yeah, there's some some few matchups there. Oh. Wow. Like I would say Rosa is one of them, yeah. but I don't know. Right now it's, it's not looking 
At least, oh, see, that's what I'm saying. Wow. Like, yeah, a stage is just like, yeah. you can't do anything. Yeah, and on top of that, the soccer ball was coming down from the down B, so he had that ready for if he tried to come up with the up B after getting down here. But that's the thing where Rosa excels against like character like this. It's off stage. I I, I was thinking like, what what are you gonna do? Like yeah. if, if she actually chases you off stage, and yeah. we just saw that nothing she can do. Yeah, <laughs> she's I'm forced to recover up in one kind of direction. Like if she's below, she's yeah. going up. And on top of that, it's such a slow recovery that that makes it so much easier for Rosa to punish. Mm -hmm. But finally getting rid of the Luma here, so this is definitely going to be an opening that Croatian's got to capitalize on to bring himself back. Like, that was what I was expecting last game to happen, but yeah. there was probably some hesitation going on. But yeah. now, I, I think he's going in. I, he, he doesn't care. He knows yeah. he needs to, like, clutch his game out, at least. Yep. Yeah, because he can't afford to uh, lose this game here. I don't, but I don't think, I don't think uh, with a trainer as... Really, the time to do any anything really strong after you know that upbeat that he did. Mm -hmm. Then he hesitated and going back to where he uh, was before. I feel like he should have kept going. I don't. I don't think. I guess dash attack, but that doesn't kill. No, but it'll at least put Rosa back off stage, so that gives you another opportunity to ledge guard. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> what is this battle? Okay, it's getting. Oh, it's getting close to the game three. There we go. Getting the deep breathing here to give him that extra movement speed and power. Oh, is he going for the grab release? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but he knew. He, he knew he wasn't going to get get the up smash. He tried to force smash. Just in case he uh, air dash. Oh, that yeah. crit range. Woo. Nah, he, I got I got your balloon. Oh. oh. See, this time he was ready for it. Yeah. I don't think the timing was exactly the same, but he was still ready for it. Yeah. I definitely like the idea Croatian had there with getting the volleyball ready to force him into the down B, but oh, well, Jab going to take it. Uh, I guess down the city. Yeah. We die early, boys. <laughs> Gotta love those Luma jabs. So definitely good adaptation from Eternal Blue there to figure out Croatian's game plan and start taking advantage of it. Yeah, I will see about, but then again, you never know. And sometimes, I feel like sometimes in, especially in Smash, it's just like, okay, this game, I, I just killed you early and then you couldn't keep up. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see about game three. It could, sh it could shift like by a big amount. Yeah, because I mean, just like that. It's interesting how certain players react to these kind of situations. Because like some players, they'll become more defeated. Other players, it'll actually empower them and make them play better. To be honest. Yeah. So that's always one of the nice things about fighting games, in my opinion. Just seeing how different people react to different situations. Mm -hmm. But Croatian doing a good job of taking care of that Luma really quickly. But yeah, like I lately just started like I don't even care if. Uh, I don't care if I get punished by Lu uh, Rosa after after I get rid of Luma. Mm -hmm. As long as Luma is gone, uh, it's worth taking. I think the 12 damage because now, yeah. without Luma, you have you have better openings. Uh, Rosalina without Luma is not a defenseless defenseless character, yeah. but it's much easier to actually get in and just yeah. get things out of. It. Not just that, but a lot easier to punish. Yeah. Unless you're in killing percent from just normal Rosa up smash or something. Yeah, I would say. Getting rid of Luma is always worth it. Yeah, that's almost always worth it. Yeah, ninety percent of the time, that honestly has oh to no. be. Wow, <laughs> got the lonely man double team combo yeah, going. Yeah, I will say, I, I think he could have kept just jabbing. Yeah. That looked like a loop. Yeah. Where you just kind of get stuck in it. Oh wow! Just piercing man. him. Rage, man. That platform. Rage is a uh, very. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it's a very sad uh, mechanic of the game. Yeah. That Fine. was that. Like he was at like what, sixty? Yeah, something like that. But I mean, you got a slightly charged up smash on the platform. Yeah, and and it, and it, it is with a trainer's up smash, one of yeah. uh, the strongest, I believe, in yeah. the game. Yep. Nice use of the up air half moon to get rid of that Luma. Uh oh. Yeah, you see uh, the stuff we saw earlier. Um, yeah, he he died at sixty. So right now he has even more rage. You. Yeah. Whew, you want to make sure that yeah. stuff goes away. Yeah, you, that's you, uh, see, like you're getting close now, you're really close. Just yeah, because of the rage. This is the scary part. Because I mean, like you said, with that rage, if he can't take off the stock, he could die so early. Oh, he's in killer percent right now. <laughs> Not from everything, but from up smash. Oh wait, okay. There all right, we go. All right, now you can take at least yep. maybe like 20 more percent from uh, before getting into the up smash killer percent. Yeah. But then call. again. It's Rosa. Yeah. With rage. 
Yeah, you know what that character does with Rage? Ridiculous things that make me sad. Yep. Um, potentially die at this percent. <laughs> From the one hit upper into full hit upper. Yeah. And it's, I don't want to say it's easy to set up, but ooh. but it, there's a specific way to at least get maybe the weak hit mm -hmm. of the upper and then into the big one. Oh no. Okay, no. Oh no. No! Oh, he thought he was out far enough past the ledge, but pulled in too early. Oh, man. Man. No, it's not a reason to bend the stage. That was that was not because of no, Violet. No, you should always go this side <laughs> until you clip. <laughs>